<coughs> Captain Buster above a round tree outdoors. Well, we at it again. And here, there comes Charlie again. It seems like every time I walk up in, here comes Charlie. <laughs> but we at it again. as many here as normal on Saturday. We got us some visitors. They're not the prettiest in the world, but, they, yeah. but they're good people. <laughs> Jazz is here today. Jazz ain't. Randy got looking for ducks. Where's the ducks, Jazz? Jazz, Jazz, where's the ducks? Where's the ducks? Where's the ducks? <laughs> he says, are you crazy? Good morning, everybody. Russell Rush here with Bubba Roundtree Outdoors. Another good cold morning here in the Midlands, South Carolina. We're getting ready to cut some dogs loose in a new spot today. Haven't, uh, last time we, we stood this, we Stood it a little different. We let some deer get away from us. Uh, so I moved over here in a spot today. I hope I'm alright. So maybe we'll get something on camera for you. Look forward to trying. Get back with you as soon as they turn the dogs loose. Alright, Captain Buster up above the round tree outdoors. We have to mount and uh, be the first drive. And I'll cut you back on when they turn loose, which will probably be about another 15, 20 minutes. Alrighty, we ready. I didn't have you on, they already shooting. Alright boys and girls, I'm hunting something out today. I'm driving by myself today, I'm driving a different place. But I'm still gonna eventually get that cut over, so. We'll see what happens. Hey! Uh-uh! Set it to him, I was done with you. Good baby, good.
Go ahead. That was Opie. You doing any good, Opie? It was Opie. Did you do any good? Yeah, I heard the dogs keep going. I didn't know if maybe there was more than one deer. Stupid crows are badgering in a poor barn owl. He came and lit in a tree right over my head. I finally got him to see me and he flew off, so maybe we won't have to deal with those loud suckers anymore. That's pretty good ways between you and next standard. Where did the deer cross it? Why did you start to Coyotes up here because it was still intact. You tell it been about how we last time we hunted. front of me and behind me then, but neither pack come to me or neither dog I think it was just one dog on each or on each deer but anyway this has been some kind of hunt here <coughs> well <coughs> that was a little less than expected we had a deer come pretty close to us out here and turned and went out by Opie I think he shot at it twice. I don't think he did any good. Said it was a long shot. And uh, I haven't heard any other shots on the drive. So that might be it for this hunt. Sounds like most of the dogs are out of the hunt by now. Interestingly enough, the most exciting thing we had happen was a barn owl come and lit in a tree here right over my head and had about 12 or 15 crows attacking him and uh, they were making a lot of noise I finally was able to get the barn owl to fly away so they followed him and called in a bunch of other ones and so I can still hear him way off in the distance badgering that poor barn owl it's probably hating he woke up this morning so I'm gonna cut you off now and if I can remember to take the camera I forgot yesterday 
uh, for the second drive, I'll turn you back on then. Or if something exciting happens in the next little bit, I'll catch you back on. Other than that, I'll see you soon. That's our guy, that whopper. Did I hear something about you shot? Yes, sir. Where's the deer? Oh, that's the one Brad did. Hey, Brad. <laughs> what was it? Doe. Big doe. Big doe. Two came in. Pete killed one. Pete got one? Pete killed one. I hear you, brother. Finally. Tell me the story. I looked up and hit him. That's my story. Oh, you killed one? Yeah. All oh, right. Stand something down this old road to the power line. Mm -hmm. you Not me. I seen five. You did? I could have killed one. But it's about 40 pounds. Right. Yeah. Well, it, it crossed the highway. Me and Jazz standing by the road, and it come across the road, and Jazz eyes got about that big, and they met in the middle of the road, and Jazz was about here. Brim's bumper right behind. It, <laughs> it was a sight race. Yeah. yeah. Tell us the story, Buck. All right. Mr. Rush, would you tell us the story of yes, your sir. exciting event? Huh? I was on my stand, and I was constantly looking. Left, this right. That's a good idea. I did. In about 120, probably about 120 yards. I mean, we can turn loose. That's 60 yards in most people's scale. I said yards. <laughs> that thing come out. It, it wasn't flying, but it was in a good gallop. And uh, I ain't as good at snap shooting. How about when it left? Was it in a full gallop then? Well, no, I don't think I really scared it that bad. But I, when I shot, I had to snap shoot as it was going out. I seen some of the weeds around it jump, so I know I had buckshot close. But now, we a few couldn't. weeks ago, didn't you kill a deer at 110 steps? Mm -hmm. 110 yeah. steps, about 115 yards. And it was running. Yeah, I know it, but it was also in a blame field. <laughs> it, was it, was it didn't go right across you the road. I think you do, you doth protest too much. I'm just asking a question. I'm just trying to be a good interviewer. How long has it been since the last whooping you got? Probably <laughs> <laughs> too long. Uh, uh, no. What how many deer did you miss, Buck? <laughs> oh, Lord. Buck, how many deer did you miss? Nobody, I shot at one deer. Okay, did you miss? Well, I don't know. We couldn't well, find I, it. I, wait a minute. Did you get the deer? No, no. Then that didn't. means? A miss. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Lining up the second hunt. I'm on the power line. First time I've been on the power line in a long time. I've never have shot on the power line, but they have killed a slew of them on this power line. As you can see. And uh, I'd love to shoot an old buck within 50, 60 yards crossing this power line. That would be fun. All right, I'll turn you on when we start. Okay guys, unlike last week, or yesterday, unlike yesterday, I remembered to bring the camera with me on the second drive. I killed a deer yesterday without the camera, so uh, maybe uh, we can get one today on camera. We're on a power line right here, so should, uh, if I miss, it should be embarrassing, but I've been embarrassed before. I'll turn you back on when we... Cut the dogs loose. Come on here, 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 come on here. Come on here. <laughs> what? Go get him, little beagle. Look at that collar. He's going to have his tail. Okay. Come on here, Blaze. Blaze, come on here. Woo! 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 Funny bucket head. We got Eve, Buck, Blade, Cash, Shadow, DD, Buckethead, Jill, and Blade. Find him in there, dog. Find him, Buckethead. That's Blade.
That's Blake because Eve is behind us. Blake, uh, Eve's 368 yards behind us. Yeah, that's Blade and Buckethead. Blade's right behind him. The blade started on him. And Buggy had to straighten it out. TD's Dee right there with Buggy here. Who is? Dee Dee. Right beside each other. Looks like the same doll. <laughs> Did you get him, Brent? That might have been the boat doing all that work down there. Oh, and a bobcat. They got the dogs, huh? Hey, that's a little old bucket. Hey, we're smoking that summer's when we left. Oh, run that summer gun. I killed one of Grant here one time. Yeah, that's Shadow. Good. What's she doing? Trying to bury him? Mm. Yep. Save him for later. Never seen that before. <laughs> Where is he at? 
Get you some of that. Get you some. There you go. There you go. Ah, ah, ah. Right here. Get you some of that right there. Get you some of that right there. Look here. Ah, right here. Right here. Ah, not me. Right here. Look at her. She just buried that bobcat. Shadow. <laughs> Well, folks, it looks like that's it for the second drive. We were close. Brent killed a small eight point right down here next to us that the dogs were running. Couldn't see what happened, but uh, probably got some good good audio anyway. So it looks like this is going to be it for today. Thank y'all for dropping by Bubba Roundtree Outdoors. We'll do it again sometime real soon. See you then. Check that out before I come Boy, look at the meat. Look at the meat. All right. Hey, there's a bunch of your dogs in there. There's one that Shadow Brent and Cole kill. That's just two. You gonna man him? I'm the bait. <laughs> All right, tell me the story. Well, they turned the dogs out. I heard the dogs running, you know, way off. And that bobcat come down the hill. I thought it was running the bobcat, so I shot it. And I, less than a minute, I heard something else coming, and I saw him coming down the hill. Yeah, and I thought it was a doe, and you know, he got about halfway down the hill. I said, he got one. So I shot <laughs> three times and rolled him, and then he got up, and he come toward me, and I finished him off. Uh, well, he's... He got eight points. He got four points on one side. Yes, sir. On both sides. On both sides. Shoot you. But the dog come over and they just covered that bobcat up with leaves. He used his nose. Hey, really? Brent, get a picture of your sport, Nanny. Oh, Lord. Now, you ain't going to say that draws the women, I know. That's scary looking. We know who his daddy is and got him. <laughs> they killed that buck and had that bobcat hung between his horns. Yeah. That's a big old dog over there. Gordy. That bobcat was still trying to pull him down. Yeah. Had him by the throat. Brent didn't really kill him. Bobcat killed him. Brent shot the bobcat. That's right. <laughs> 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 when I was <laughs> Eve come to me, oh, or Florida, one of them come back to me. One of them's got blood. One of them's got, one of them's got, blood. One of them's got blood on the inside of their legs. They agree. You know what Shadow was doing with that bobcat while we go? That's the dog right there. He had the bobcat laying around. What dog is that right there? You can see it. You'd be proud of it. Probably I got two crosses of Saxon Road. Yes, sir. See how it was. Get that sun right. I was uh, always going to the back stand on the first drive. Uh -huh. Everybody was still going in. And I caught somebody out of my corner of my eye and I looked. I saw a deer coming. And I saw another deer behind it, but I didn't know what it was. And uh, deer came down in front of me, got broadside, and I shot it and it bucked. So I knew I was in it. And uh, I looked and the buck come across and I shot at it. And when I shot it, it spun and turned around. I shot at it again. And I saw it walk off. So I loaded my gun back up. I was standing there two more minutes and I looked and the buck started walking back down there too. And evidently he was after that dope. After that dope. And uh, he got about 70 yards from me and I had him in one little gap in between some trees. And when I shot, he took off back that way and I blooded him up and couldn't find him. So I'm standing there after everything got good and calm. And I think you and I have been having a conversation. Yeah. And uh, I heard something, and I turned to look like that, and there's another dude standing right beside me. She stopped me and took me and shot her down the So you had a good day. When the truck was coming to me while I go to, to help me track, the two more deer were walking up on the ridge where I'd seen the rest of them. This place they just turned around and walked off. Got a lot of deer. A lot of deer. It was fun. I had a good time. Shot six times. Shot uh, five times yesterday and six times a day. So. Yeah, you had <laughs> As far as shooting, I just yeah. I can't hit them. <laughs> <laughs> got horns, I can't yeah, it's something about the horn. Thanks for riding along with us, folks. There's still lots more Deer Dog Drive 2017 to come to you. Stay tuned.